What up, peeps? Mwahaha, coming at you with some Clash Royale action. We're going to be looking at what I think are the top three decks right now in Clash Royale and basically how I play them. If you're not playing these decks, you're probably losing, so stay tuned here so you can see what I think are the most OP three decks in the game. Number three, it is the Royal Giant Mortar deck. The idea here is to uh, be extremely offensive. Uh, offensive, yeah, I guess. Be on the offense as you play through this one and uh, try to get uh, Let's go. your Royal Giant up there putting damage. Uh, hold on to that mortar as long as you can uh, so that he doesn't know that you have it. But if you have to, use it defensively. And uh, that's basically the way you play. So you can see I got the Royal Giant right up in front. Uh, I played him as soon as I saw that the knight was going down and he was going to be pushing on the left-hand side. My right-hand side is pushing hard, and they're going to take that tower real quick. He's got my tower on the left down to about half. Um, I pretty much conceded that I'm going to end up losing that tower in this match. So uh, I decide, you know what, I'm going to go for the three crown at about this point. And so you can see I get his uh, king tower down uh, pretty freaking low this early on. You, and he can he's already giving the thumbs up. He's like, you know what, this, is, this probably isn't going to work. Uh, then I got those, the minion horde in there. He arrows, which is an excellent use of arrows. Very good. Uh, positive elixir trade in his favor. I am definitely down on elixir at this point. Plus, he's got a collector in, so it's not looking great, but uh, we are going to turn this thing around, and we're going to make this deck shine. You can see how low his king tower is. He's going to push on the left-hand side again. Like I said, I've pretty much conceded that I'm going to lose that, that side, but I'm going to uh, try to defend a little bit until I can get my... Um, until I can kind of get my strategy ready to go and uh, bring it in, I can't have them. I can't have him bringing in all of that on my tower. So I do need to have uh, at least a little bit closer to him in elixir before I push in uh, on his king tower. And so that was kind of the idea behind defending on that, even though I knew that I was going to lose that tower. And so uh, now I'm getting ready for my big push. And uh, let's see. I think that he's going to try to go for the three crown as well. And that may be where his big mistake was. Um, but if you, what you'll see here is I'm going to put the mortar in his territory on the right-hand side, which is going to be able to hit his king tower. And I'm going to put the royal giant in front of that because uh, that's basically going to make whoever he tries to defend with aggro onto the royal giant and not focus the mortar. In the meantime, the mortar is just going to be dropping bombs. And so you can see I drop it down to 42 before it goes. All I got to do is get something in there to put one little quick hit, and that's going to be my princess, and that's going to be GG. So there's uh, number three, I think, very good, strong deck. You can also play that mortar uh, a little bit up more toward the front. And you see a lot of people these days playing... Um, playing the, uh, blah, 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 blah. and you see a lot of people these days playing the Elixir Collector in front of the King Tower. Um, sometimes they play it a little bit too forward, and you can take advantage of that with the Mortar and wipe out that Elixir Collector early. Uh, all right, let's look at deck number two. All right, so deck number two is our Loon Giant. Now, you guys have seen this one. Uh, this one wrecked me when I did the uh, last uh, Surf Report, last Clash Royale Surf, surf Report. And I thought, you know what, this is probably going to be a pretty strong deck, so we're going to try it out. Now, the trick to this deck is you need to be able to surprise your opponent with the giant and the balloon real close to the bridge. Uh, you don't want to do a slow build-up push like you usually do with a giant deck. Um, if you do that slow push, he's going to have a chance to kind of anticipate something big coming, and he's going to be able to defend against it. Not going to do it with this one. We're going to put the giant pretty close to the bridge on the right-hand side. And then he's going to try to defend against that giant with a cannon. And uh, once he drops that cannon, I know that I've got enough room to put my balloon down without that balloon uh, aggroing onto that cannon. So here it is. And as soon as, at this point, you can already see his tower is done. Like, there is nothing he can do. Uh, I'm going to arrow to take out the princess, put some damage on the other towers there. Uh, but this is, uh, that's, you know, one tower down and we're not even a minute and a half into the match. Uh, the other key to this deck is it's a three crowner deck. It's not, uh, you could push left, I guess I could push left this time and try to go for the two crown, but, uh, why? When he's gonna have to push left on that left tower, and when defending against a balloon giant deck, um, because neither of those cards focus your troops, you can pull, you can build up a huge counter push. 
And so you don't want your opponent to build up this huge counter push on the side that you're pushing because once your giant and balloon drop, you've got to deal with all of that coming in. And giant balloon combo is expensive. It's 10 elixir to get both of those cards out. So you're not going to be able to defend very well. Um, so you can see at this point, I've got a, just about a full health balloon going in, a giant still at about half health, and uh, that tower is wrecked. And so, again, uh, number two, I think uh, one of the top three or second, I think that's why I put it at number two, uh, second strongest deck right now in Clash Royale. Uh, let's look at number one. All right, so number one is the deck that has many names. I've heard some people call it the uh, Minor Distract deck, uh, Minor Cycle deck, um, Spam deck. I actually like uh, the term Spam deck because uh, it's not, I'm not doing spawners, but I am trying to keep it as low as possible on Elixir and get troops going in as fast as possible just to kind of overwhelm my opponent. Now, it doesn't work against everything. Obviously, no deck does. Uh, there are some good counters to it, but uh, I've been able I've been able to push up pretty high in trophy count using this deck. I think that it's a very solid deck as long as you know how to play distracting uh, maneuvers to get people into your kill zone. So playing troops into the middle of your er arena when somebody's coming over, um, and just basically how to play the aggros right and timing your troops right. So example here with the princess. Now, I could put minions right on top of her before she starts shooting the tower, but she's going to get at least one shot off on those minions, and that's going to weaken them to the point where they're not going to be able to get to the tower. And so what I want to try to do in some of those cases is if there's a princess coming up on the bridge, let her get that first shot off on, the, on, the, uh, on, on my tower, and then I'll bring in the minions to wipe her out, and I'll have a full-strength minion push coming in and, uh, and end up probably getting some damage on the tower unless they've got a really good counter to go against it. Um, obvious uh, big counters to this deck are your fireballs, arrows. Uh, poison can be, but you've got to be real careful with that because if they play poison in the wrong place, you can get around it. Uh, you can also um, push alternate sides. Uh, and so if they poison on the right, you can push on the left, and they're going to they're gonna have a hard time doing that. Um, all your splash damage troops, your Valkyrie, your baby dragon, and your witch can be difficult too. Um, but you can see when the witch comes in, I let her start putting damage on the tower. And then I drop something behind her and uh, take her out real quick. She, she'll get like two or three shots off. But uh, you can see, um, th at this point, it's not looking great for me. But I've got the miner. And I'm not going to let him uh, co collect up on Elixir. So I put the miner back there to wipe out the Elixir collector. And then put some damage on the right-hand side. Now, as soon as he dropped that giant, I, get, I go with a big push on the left-hand side with uh, my hog and my minions. And you can see, I, went, I took his tower down from full health or, or pretty dang close to just less than half health in that one push so uh, again this deck is very big on timing and uh, placement but um, if you can get those two things down then you're good um, now you can see my minor placement right there was not real good um, if you actually place the minor looking at that tower in front of the tower and just one tile to the left so that cornermost tile then um, that the miner will not get targeted by the king tower, and your miner will be putting full damage on uh, that uh, on that tower. So um, there you can go. You, you see uh, again, princess comes in for the clutch play at the end, um, but that's basically how uh, the spam, I guess, spam deck. Uh, quick attack deck, whatever you want to call it, works. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. I appreciate you guys coming in and watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you've got better decks that are working for you, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. I'd like to look at those and see how they work out. And uh, hey, I hope you guys are having fun with Clash Royale. Don't forget, if you haven't seen it already, tournaments are starting next week. The big tournament release feature within Clash Royale. That's going to be fun. We'll have to check out what that's all about. Um, I am planning on being on Twitch this Sunday, so I hope that you guys tune in for the tournaments there, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks for coming back. Mwahaha loves you. Have a good day. Out. You're still here? It's over. Click the subscribe button and pick another one of these videos. Well, go on. What are you waiting for? I don't have anything great to show you. 
just click the subscribe button. All right. You've given me no choice. <clears throat> Don't say I didn't warn you. I could do this all day. Click the subscribe button and choose another video. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. All right, well, it's been fun. I'm just, I'm gonna go now.